November 8th, The Unrivaled Power of Prayer We do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Romans 8, verse 26 We realize that we are energized by the Holy Spirit for prayer, and we know what it is to pray in accordance with the Spirit, but we don't often realize that the Holy Spirit Himself prays prayers in us which we cannot utter ourselves. When we are born again of God, and are indwelt by the Spirit of God, He expresses for us the unutterable. He, the Holy Spirit in you, makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Romans 8, verse 27. And God searches your heart, not to know what your conscious prayers are, but to find out what the prayer of the Holy Spirit is. The Spirit of God uses the nature of the believer as a temple in which to offer His prayers of intercession. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19. When Jesus Christ cleansed the temple, He would not allow anyone to carry wares through the temple. Mark 11, verse 16. The Spirit of God will not allow you to use your body for your own convenience. Jesus ruthlessly cast out everyone who bought and sold in the temple and said, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it into a den of thieves. Mark 11, verse 17. Have we come to realize that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? If so, we must be careful to keep it undefiled for Him. We have to remember that our conscious life, even though only a small part of our total person, is to be regarded as a temple of the Holy Spirit. He will be responsible for the unconscious part which we don't know, but we must pay careful attention to and guard the conscious part for which we are responsible.